What in the sweet Christ was that? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Malignant, the new horror film from James Wan that is a... <laughs> you know what, I can't even really tell you the story without spoiling it because this movie's bananas. This is actually a film that is so absurd in its concept and its execution that it actually benefits from its absurdity. The film follows Madison, a woman who is suffering from these visions of watching people die from this Gabriel character and there is a deep-seated conspiracy and connection between the two of them that pulls her into this world of madness, torture, and murder. All the while these very badly acted cops are trying to pin whatever is going on on Madison while also slowly uncovering what's going on on the side. There's this weird doctor conspiracy in the background and this sister who's figuring out what's going on with her past with her adopted mother. The story and the character Characters aren't exactly the most memorable part, especially the characters. Everyone in this film is pretty generic and the acting is abysmal. However, and this is a very big however, it actually doesn't hurt the movie as much as it should because James Wan, I think, did this on purpose. Whatever money that they could have put into the casting element of this film, they took away and put into the production value in terms of the camera department and the visual effects particularly the camera department. I think that James had so much fun having much more liberal use of visual elements with Aquaman that he incorporates that into a horror movie that eventually turns into an action slasher. But no joke, the visual elements of this film will 100% keep you entertained. How this film is told visually is the best part, absolutely. From the creative camera angles to the visual fear that he puts into you with how he portrays the story, it's banging how good the camera work is in this film. There's even a one-off shot at one point that is completely random. I didn't even expect it to be in the film, but it's superbly well put together considering this is, a, again, supposed to be a horror movie. One combines the elements from his horror film days as well as his Aquaman and even a little bit of the Fast and Furious film, and he combines them into this extremely bananas kooky combination that while having quite weak characters has a very strong visual presence. And then the ending. The ending is completely bananas. It's straight up cuckoo. Also another element that should be talked about is the music. The music in this film is actually pretty cool. It's very out there. It's got this 80s sort of horror vibe to it. There is a kind of a repetition term sometimes with the music, but overall I actually really enjoy the soundtrack too and that helps combine with the visual elements of the film. Overall, Malignant on paper is not exactly the most memorable of horror movies except for the twist at the end but it's how it's visually presented and thematically told that you will actually quite enjoy this movie. I did not expect it to be this entertaining. It's still stupid, but it's told so well that it makes up for its shortcomings in terms of just how much kooky is in it. So in the end, I'm actually gonna give Malignant a very generous four out of seven. I would highly recommend it because it is a bangers film. It's probably the most out there film that I've seen in a while. I'm kind of impressed that James Wan was able to make this movie, but considering that Aquaman was a billion dollar success, probably Warner Brothers was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Just as long as you make Aquaman 2 a billion dollar success as well. In the end, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. And for those of you who have seen the ending, yeah, the ending's just bonkers. Just Wacko. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.